So what does a fully loaded um, Forerunner look like? Well, this is an example of 400 pounds of additional weight in the cargo area, nothing on the roof, on these C59-325 Forerunner coils. Um, I'm going to show you, this is what it looks like loaded. I'm going to measure the front and the back, because when you load up the rear, sometimes it can pick up the front, and uh, show you what this... Uh, this weight difference is since 400 pounds is about what most people would put in if they're going to go camping for like two people. Now, what is 400 pounds? It uh, is this brand new Falcon Wild Peak RT01 tires. They're 37 by 1250s, 80 pounds each, and there is five in there. Pretty amazing that they fit. But uh, yeah, so that's a 400 pound load, and let's do some measuring. Just going to keep this super simple and just measure from the tire to the flare since we're just looking for the difference. That is seven and five eighths. Seven and a quarter. All right, so let me go ahead and pull these tires out and see what difference we end up getting out of it. Yeah, so definitely uh, changed a little bit. Let's see. What kind of measurement we get out of it now? We are at eight and three eighths. And up here. Oh man, this tire's in the way. We are at seven and a quarter. So yeah, eight and three eighths to seven and a quarter. Let me see what it was before because I don't remember. I think the front was the same. All right, so got those tires out of the way. Yeah, it's, uh, depends which lug I go on, but eight and three eighths. So it's about um, five eighths to three quarters of an inch drop for 400 pounds. Now these are 220 pound per inch rate springs. That's 440 pounds um, for both of them. But since some of the weight was some of the weight was a little bit forward of the axle, some of the weight was, a lot of the weight was on the axle, but none of it was behind the axle. We dropped, well, it dropped a little less than a, an inch, basically, for 440 pounds. So normally, that's why I tell people, if you put in 400 pounds, maybe you lose about an inch. Well, in this case, it didn't lose a full inch, so. And what surprised me, actually, was that the front wasn't picked up at all. That's probably because there was no leverage. The weight was pretty much over the axle. If the weight was behind the axle, then the nose may have picked up a little bit. And as soon as that changes, that affects your alignment. So anyway, maybe you found this useful. Thanks for watching.